What's up, guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. So good to have you in the studio today. We have a super exciting video. This kiln is full of completely finished pots, and that kiln is also full. So we're gonna unload them and show you some sweet finished pots, and they're all gonna be going up for sale on July 15th, Wednesday, July 15th at 6 p.m. So if you see anything you like in this kiln, well, I can't say everything will go up for sale, but most of it will go up for sale. So as you can see, we have been doing some work. We got that shelf full, that shelf's full. We got more than enough pots to get a bis kiln. So we gotta get all these unloaded, and then we gotta load another bisque, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day in the studio. It's uh, seven o'clock in the morning right now. My little three-year-old rider came into our room at like 4.30 in the morning last night, so I've been up since then. All right, let's unload this thing, see what we got. All right, the first thing's on the top shelf. Did some, uh, did some drippy, drippy uh, turquoise. This is actually has three different glazes on top. Had a little bit of crawling there, which crawling is just like where part of the glaze like just falls off. So might have to refire those. Although I really, really like the drip. Those are sweet. And then we got these twisted bowls, which are, so there's these like little, so those are cool. Sand, Aurora green over sandstone. Sweet. So these are Northern Lights Twisted Bowls. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Are you kidding me? Look at that, look at that, the green in there. Holy cow, if none of these drip off, that'll be a miracle. Holy smokes, those are so cool. Oh my gosh, little tiny drip right there, but not too bad. Another little drip, that one's a little worse. Boom, that one's perfect. Gorgeous. Those are so cool, so cool. <gasps> I love them, I love them so much. You guys, this is an exciting kiln. This is super duper exciting. All right, I'll just get these out of the way. These are more of these. More of those twisted Northern Lights bowls that are flipping awesome. I think I need to sit down to show you these because they're so cool. Oh. <laughs> these are, so first ones. So these, this marbling is, so it's red iron oxide. So I've done that before, but then it has black in there too. So it's black and red iron oxide with this Northern Lights drip over top, black on the inside. Oh, those are sweet. So I just love them. I love them so much. Okay, okay. So those are those two. There's there's four of those, right? So these will be for sale on the Wednesday, July 15th. Those are sweet. So then I also, these were really big sellers in the last restock where they were like kind of like a blue, green, black marbled. And so the marbling of the clay actually matches the glaze really well. A lot of times when I'm mixing colored clay, I'll mix in white clay because the white clay, like the colored clay is pretty expensive, but the white clay is not. So these has like white and black and green and blue in them. And this is just, no, there's no white in it. So it's more blue and green and black, which I like, it's cool. Those are sweet. And these, these ones are kind of littler. They're probably only like 10 ounces, which personally, I like the smaller mugs better. Like I know a lot of people like the bigger mugs like often the big mugs sell. I don't know if it's because you feel like you're getting like a better value if you have like a big 20, 30 ounce mug, but I just, I can't drink my coffee fast enough to keep it hot. And I drink coffee pretty fast, so I don't know how anybody does it. Anyway, back to the glazing. Aren't those, aren't those sweet? Probably some of my favorite stuff that I've ever made is have been these marbled with the Northern Lights drips. I just, I, it just looks so good. The glaze with the colored clay, and I love the drippiness. So delicious. Wow. Okay, these these are a little one. So I think there's like four, 
There's five of these little guys, which I really like a lot. And then there's four of the bigger ones. Those went pretty quick in the last restock. Alrighty, and then I tried this too, the copper and black with like a, the metallic uh, Midnight Rain over Winter Wood. So it's like this got, it's kind of like the Insanity mug thing that I'm doing. Like that dripped, it's like, looks like just straight metallic metal. Super cool. Oh, this might be like one of my favorite kilns ever. And then I really love the copper ore drip, which this is just kind of a classic. So this has actually got now black in it too, black clay with the red iron oxide clay. All right, what else do we have in here that's interesting? Okay, so this is a little tester for a custom patron mug. I wanted it, so this is the just clear gloss. Looks good to me. I think I will probably get that one in the kiln. So here's the Midnight Rain over Winter Wood, probably my favorite combo that I'm doing right now. This was, this was to cone six, which in this kiln is actually, with these new elements, is actually turning into like cone seven. And when I go to cone seven, it actually goes to cone eight, which is kind of wild. But those look really good. The, the way that I would do the Insanity mug now is I would glaze it again and fire it upside down. So I may try to do that to a couple of these guys, although those turned out really nice. It's hard to, it's hard to take a mug that looks pretty dang perfect and fire it again. But sometimes, you know, you gotta, to get the results that you want, to get something special, you gotta do something different. Super cool. Those are pretty, probably the best blue. That B clay is just so smooth. Got a couple more of those. This one has no drip on it. I didn't, I just did straight midnight rain over winter wood. I mean, it's a thick glaze on top. And then here's another one. Ooh, that's awesome. That drip is awesome. I know I reuse a lot of the same adjectives like cool and awesome and sweet and so. But you know what, that's just what I do. All right, and here's these Northern Lights Spiral Mugs. Those are real nice, really nice. That, Northern Lights on B clays. I mean, I'm gonna have to do some more of those, I think. And that's it, the last two out of this kiln. So cool. Look at this pot, this is a brand new glaze that I'm using. Actually, it's brand new from Mako. Muddy Waters. On a, in a twisted, isn't that so cool? All right, let's go get some coffee and we'll be back and we'll unload this other kiln. We're back, we got some coffee and uh, this is like my third cup of coffee already and it's 7.30 so it's gonna be a long day. All right, that first kiln was literally probably one of my favorite kilns ever so Thank you for being there with me, I appreciate it. Uh, now we're ready for the second kiln of the day. This is like literally the best part. Weeks and weeks and weeks of work all lead up to these moments. So we got a few more just straight bowls. This is something that people have been really been requesting on my Etsy shop a lot. It's just plain bowls, so good for cereal, ice cream, you know, anything you can think of that you would normally use a bowl for, this would be great for. Noise. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, we got some cool stuff. Firing a couple of these upside down, right? So this was one that had dripped off that I decided I would try and fire a Waconia, Minnesota mug in the Northern Lights. That turned out really good. So basically before it had just dripped off, fired it again, now it's perfect. So a couple of these other ones, upside down, fired. Oh, let's see, here's another upside down fired blue one. There we go, that's cool. Upside down, I don't even know what I would call that. Blue surf and midnight rain. All right, a couple other things in here that are interesting. This is a new, this is a new glaze, a new blue gloss from Mako. It's kind of dark blue, not my favorite thing in the world. Yeah, not, not my fave. Don't love that glaze, but I do love this glaze. This red is sweet. Love that. Look at this big old vase thing. A little midnight rain dripper. Woo! That's cool. This is a new one that I have not tried before. Ooh, that's kind of nifty. Celadon Bloom. And this is also a new one. I think this is the Muddy Waters. 
the same as that bowl. So this is the same as this, but it just gets that cool blue when like it cools. This, look at that! Copper ore over sandstone, that's bomb. So cool, holy cow. Whew, that's awesome. I'll have to do more of that. And then we got a few, ooh, lavender mist. Those are looking real nice, super smooth. We had one of the lavender mist that dripped off real bad. I don't know why that happened on that one and not on the others, but three of them worked out. So this is a scenario where I would actually probably just fire this again upside down and see what happens. We got two lavender mist mugs that out, were out really good. This was a second fire, that's really nice. Wow. This was also, a, I think I've, this is like probably the fourth time this has been fired. <laughs> oh, it's kind of silly, but all those micro crystals in there are sweet. All right, so these were just a couple test tiles. There's that muddy waters, which if I wouldn't have done that bowl in the muddy waters, I probably would be a little disappointed. And there's that Celadon bloom. I need some combos with the Celadon bloom. Alrighty, let's take all these guys out. Those are nice. A lot of what is in this kiln is the midnight rain over winter wood because it is awesome so that's like basically what all i mean a lot of this is just midnight rain straight so midnight rain looks like this when it has a bunch of crystals loaded on top and it looks like this when you just dip it oh my gosh that is awesome ready boom i got that glaze down for a while i was like scared to do it because it had dripped off a couple times but that's awesome that's amazing Okay, and then the last ones are this Norse blue over winter wood, which that's like one of, almost looks like it like glows in the dark or something. That's kind of becoming one of my favorite combos. Okay, so these bowls. So this is kind of just straight, but I did try and like kind of load the crystals on on the inside. A couple of them, like this one did not work out at all. I'm not sure what happened here. Not sure why it like crawled right there. The outside looks good. I don't know what I'll do with it, but probably throw it in the trash. We're trying to refire it. This one's cool. That's, that's kind of what I thought was gonna happen with them all, is that they would like all drip down and, and be metallic-y at the bottom, but that didn't really happen. Those are cool though, really cool. All right, so I'm gonna count up how many pots were in this. I mean, this kiln room is like just packed full now of pots, but that was surprising. I don't know why I'm surprised when things turn out good. I've been doing this long enough. Things should turn out good. All right, so we had, smaller kiln had 43 pots in it, and the larger kiln had 49 pots in it, which brings our total to 92 for today, which brings our total for July, 140, which brings our total for the year, 1,798. <laughs> Uh, if you care about how many work, but I'm really committed to keeping track of everything this year to see how many pots we actually make in a year. All right, so now we're gonna take a ton of pictures of all this stuff, both for this video that I'm gonna edit later and also for the Etsy store. So pretty much almost all of what you saw me unload today, you can find for sale on Wednesday night, uh, July 15th, probably some of the best stuff that's come out for sure this summer. And then we gotta load all these pots over here in a bisque kiln in a ditch effort to possibly get some of these up on the Etsy store too. So it's, right now it's Friday the 10th. So we're gonna have the Etsy store go live in five days. So we'll, like I have a bunch of planters in there that I would love to get on the Etsy store. So what's gonna have to happen is today's Friday. We're gonna have to get these bisqued, maybe be done tomorrow, Saturday, glaze them tomorrow, then they could be done Sunday, Monday, probably. Take pictures. So I think it'll work. I think I'll be able to do it. Whew! All right. I think that is it for this video, guys. Appreciate you stopping by. Oh, it's hot. It's early. At least I have a delicious coffee. If you guys haven't already, I'd appreciate hitting that like button. And as always, subscribe, share all the videos, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Ah!